The new year is going to bring new challenges for North Carolina's businesses, especially those with ties to the defense industry. Last year was the best ever for North Carolina companies competing for defense contracts with almost $4 billion worth of contracts secured. In addition, untold millions more were awarded to subcontractors doing work for companies in other states. But this year, the first wave of Pentagon budget cuts take effect. Frank Graff introduces us to a company in Shelby that reinvented itself in the last decade to take advantage of the spending on two wars and is reinventing itself again as defense spending is cut. I just like being able to build things with my own two hands and be able to see it finished and correct when I'm all said and done. The hard work of saving lives is done through explosions of sparks and the clang of stainless steel. We're building the first line of defense for our armed soldiers. That's very important. It, may, it means all the difference to us. On the floor of Ultra International, welders transform steel into the bars and plates that make up the battle armor, protecting U.S. military vehicles and the soldiers who use them. These parts will hang outside a striker vehicle. Okay. And a striker vehicle will have, this is something called a reactive armor tile. Basically, an RPG comes in, before it explodes, it, it barely touches it, and it'll explode outwardly. It'll keep the crew from dying. So, so in essence, what we're building today, man, is specifically saving our soldiers. Ironically, just as the welders at Ultra change steel into armor, the wars in Iraq and Afghanistan have changed their company. Ultra was a machine shop 10 years ago when Frank Stewart heard the Pentagon's frantic call for new ways to protect military vehicles from roadside bombs and other weapons in this new kind of war. So we went from building parts for Michelin and for all these guys, components, to really building things that mean something. Big difference. Stewart reinvented his company, investing more than $6 million in advanced laser cutters and metal benders, some of the largest such machines on the East Coast. This metal bender alone weighs 605,000 pounds. 24 feet of the machine is underground. The company now boasts 250 welding machines and employs 350 people in three facilities around the state. So my 30-second elevator speech when people ask, so what do you do? We're in the life-saving business. Everything that we do ends up in the hands of a warfighter who ends up saving their life. So it's in, our, it's in our blood, in our skin. So, man, they're building perfection knowing that saving somebody else. In an armored, ultra-secure back room at Ultra is this. You can call it the testing lab. All the armor the company builds, the body armor, the vehicle armor, is all designed to withstand shells from these weapons. They build it, they test it. But now, as defense spending slows, Stewart must transform his company once again. Ultra is talking with any industry that requires steel welding and cutting. Think railroads, and mining, and construction. And this is an extra uh, lock and neck uh, we got on this truck. That way nobody can come up and jerk the door open. You can actually lock this from inside. Oh, that's right. Here's the hole. Okay. And it looks like it's bent. It's, it's kind yes, of... Yes, sir. So, so, so whenever, whenever the blast, it helps it, channels it out. Sitting out front of Ultra's offices in Shelby is an example of the company's newest venture, applying its military protection skills to civilian vehicles. This right here is the front door. It's the armor plate. The whole glass door, the, the, the window moves up and down. Oh. It opens and closes. But it's reinforced, though. Yes, it? sir. Okay. Yes, sir. This right here is 40 mil glass, armor plate all the way around it. Armor floor, sidewalls. These right here, what you call, what we call bullet catches. So like you're getting angle shots. To keep from it, any bullets going in, it traps them. 
And it's clear in this company video of the test of an armored Toyota pickup, it's not just the windows and doors that are protected. The engine and suspension system are rebuilt to handle an 8,500 pound vehicle. Half of that is the weight of the armor. The tires are reinforced. They can keep driving when being shot out. Passengers are in jump seats. Alter is tapping the growing market for customized armored civilian vehicles. Clients now include companies needing to protect their executives, as well as government agencies and defense contractors. So did you ever think way back in 89 when you started, you know, <laughs> working with Michelin and all that, you'd be doing this now? No, that's a great question. Uh, no, absolutely not. Uh, you know, I never envisioned us being as big a company as we are. I thought we would be doing something great, contributing to the economy. However, uh, in all four, we had a first opportunity to be part of the defense industry, and we switched. By the way, Ultra's motto is live well protected. Frank Stewart remade his company to follow that motto once. He's doing it again. So to answer your question, in my wildest dream, I never imagined being part of something as special as this. While companies in Cumberland and Onslow counties, which are home to Fort Bragg and Camp Lejeune, were awarded the most money through federal defense contracts, Pentagon dollars were spread throughout the state. Companies in 87 of the state's 100 counties received defense contracts last year. To find out more about Ultra and how it is reinventing itself in the wake of the changing defense economy, visit our website.